Alright, in this video we're going to look at goal M.1.10 in the ATIT study manual and this involves translating word problems into expressions, equations, and inequalities. And I have three basic examples right here and then we'll finish things off with a real world application. And we got expressions, equations, and inequalities to look at. So this first example here, five more than a number. Five more than a number. We want to write this. We want to translate this thing into an expression, an equation, or an inequality, depending on you know how it's worded, if you will. Five more than a number. Well, five more than a number. I'll use an X for these examples. Five more than a number. That's it. Done. Or we could write it as x plus 5 using the commutative property of addition. Remember, when you, you can switch numbers around when you're adding them. 5 more than something means you just add 5 to it. So that's an expression there. And the reason why this is an expression is because, you know, in this word problem here, it doesn't say anything about it being equal to something or being more than something or less than something or anything like that. Now let's look at the next example. An equation is going to be illustrated right here. 3 times a number increased by 4 is 22. Keyword there is. So we can set up this equation. We want 3 times a number. So we can write that as 3x. That means 3 times some number increased by 4 plus 4 is equals and then 22. And for this video, we will not solve these on the T's test. Sometimes they'll just ask you to translate a word problem or something like this into an equation or an expression or an inequality. And something to show you, uh, my tablet's dying on me, but something to show you here, if you go to Google, why won't this go away? There we go. If you go to Google and type in translate math word problems uh, and then go to images, there's a couple of you know various things where like clue words, you can click on some of these images here and look at keywords. That's not really clear, but uh, that's still not clear. But there's tons of examples back here. If you go to Google images and just look at some examples here. Also something worth checking out is inequality, uh, inequalities. If you look at some images here, boom, that's exactly what I was looking for right there. Greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to. But there's also some more words. Uh, don't see them here, but uh, at least, at most, I encourage you to go read up on those and we'll see an example right here. Number three. So, tricky, tricky, tricky. Four less than the quotient of a number and two. Well, the quotient of a number in 2, a way we can write that is n over 2. We can write it as a fraction or we can write n divided by 2. So the quotient of a number in 2 is what we have right here. And we want 4 less than that. What we do not want to do is this. This is not correct. This is 4 subtract n over 2. And you may say, well, that's exactly what this says. Or some people will say, hey, 4 less than, you want to use an inequality? No. Nah. 4 less than something. Well, think about it like this. What is 5 less than 20? What is 5 less? Let me write what is 5 less than 20. Well, 5 less than 20 is going to be 15, right? Because 20 minus 5 equals 15. Well, take note here. The way I have this written out, it's like it's reversing it on you. 5 less than 20 is 20 minus 5. We want to apply that same concept right here. 4 less than the quotient of a number in 2. Here's our quotient of a number in 2. And we want 4 less than that, so we're going to take away 4. Is at least, at least, if I have at least $10 in my pocket, that means I can have $10, $11, $12, $13, $14, $14 etc. If somebody's going to give you at least 5 apples, that means they're going to give you five apples or six apples or seven apples or eight apples. At least means greater than or equal to. Go check out those words on Google Images. And it says is at least five. So that will be our translated inequality for that problem. Now let's finish things off with a real world example. A truck rental moving company charges a flat rate of 50 bucks to rent a truck and 25 cents for every mile driven. If Alexa can spend no more than, no more than, a total of $230 for, for the rental, how many miles can she drive the truck? Flat rate of 50 bucks. 
So you go into the store or Alexa goes into the truck rental store and she wants to rent it, boom, $50 flat. She's not going to have to pay that again, but it's like a flat rate, a flat fee just to rent the vehicle. But then we're going to add on to this 25 cents for every mile she drives. Well, let's let M be equal to the number of miles. And let's be very careful here. We don't want to write 25 times M. You may say, well, that says 25 cents. That's exactly what it says. But notice over here, this is in dollars, so I wrote a 50. 25 cents needs to be 0.25 M, or better yet, it may be, you know, you might see it written like this, 0.25 M. Because now I have these in like the same units. This is in dollars, this is in dollars. 0.25 dollars is just... 25 cents, but be careful there. You don't want to use a 25 M. Well, why am I tacking this M onto this? Because we're going to take 25 cents and we're going to multiply it by the number of miles that Alexa drives. So like if you, for example, suppose she drove four miles, she rented the vehicle for $50 and then she drove it for four miles. That's probably not what she's going to want to do renting a truck, but 25 cents per mile for four miles is going to be an additional dollar plus the original 50, that's gonna be a total of $51. Now, obviously she's gonna be driving more than that, but we're not concerned with solving this. If Alexa can spend no more than a total of 230 bucks, no more than, if you can have no more than four slices of pizza. If somebody says, hey, you can have no more than four slices of pizza, that means you can have four, three, two, one, or none. So no more than means less than or equal to, and we want to be less than or equal to the $230. So this right here, you don't have to put the point zero, zero, but notice again, the 50 represents dollars, the 230 represents dollars, and since we wrote 0 0.25, yes, that's 25 cents, but that's the correct way to write 25 cents in dollars, if you will. But um, yeah, there you have it. You know, several examples of converting or translating word problems, a bunch of sentences, if you will, and translating them into some type of inequality like we have here, or an expression. Remember, an expression is does not have an equals. It does not have an inequality. And then we have an equation right here as well. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.